Teresa do four straight ahead in your CT style update. Jocelyn sits down with Griffin Hospital to learn about the benefits of being proactive with your health. Take a look and we'll see you back here at 1230 for a full CT style. Griffin Hospital serves more than 130,000 residents of the Lower Naugatuck Valley region. And joining us this morning is Patrick Charmel, the president of Griffin Hospital. It's great to have you with us. Good morning. I'm hearing more about population health. What is this all about? Well, traditionally, hospitals and healthcare providers have kind of viewed themselves as responding to the needs of individuals when they get sick. And so the incentives in the system, the healthcare delivery system, really motivate us to sort of approach it from a sick care perspective. But as the U.S. population ages and the cost of health care rises, that approach really is unsustainable because it leads to higher cost. Um, most folks in this country, and especially as they age, have chronic disease. And those chronic diseases are actually caused by lifestyle choices. And we need a system that really begins to focus on the underlying ca causes of disease rather than waiting for people to get sick. See, with the current incentives, essentially, providers get paid more for the things that they do. And really, if we talk about population health and a move to value-based care, we're talking about changing those incentives to motivate health care providers to try and keep people healthy. And also perhaps to provide, uh, to promote the fact that we too also need to be better at promoting our own health. Absolutely. You know, consumers now are paying more out of their own pocket for health care. In fact, in, here in Connecticut, even those consumers or Connecticut residents that have employer-provided health insurance, they're paying 42 cents of every dollar out of pocket. So clearly they have skin in the game. And we have to take responsibility for our own health, one, to control cost, but also to live a healthier, happier life. Absolutely. And why is Griffin Hospital leading the charge in this? Well, Griffin views itself as what we call a value-based provider. The system moves to these volume incentives, essentially wait for people to get sick and then do what they need, which tends to motivate overutilization of the system. You need to look for providers, hospitals, and physicians that actually can produce better outcomes at a lower cost. So Griffin, being a lower cost hospital compared to hospitals around us and always having a focus on community health prevention, we're embracing this idea of population health and value. And we want to see the incentives in the system change to reward innovative, progressive organizations who are willing to take responsibility for population health. See, we want to see this and we know it's the right thing for the public and for society. Are you already seeing the impact? Absolutely. You know, Griffin has done some really unique things. In fact, you know, there are 16 teaching hospitals in the state of Connecticut. In terms of medicine, most hospitals that have uh, training programs that train graduate physicians focus on traditional internal medicine. Well, we do that, but we were the first hospital in Connecticut to offer preventive medicine training. In fact, we created a novel approach where we have a combined program where we train physicians in both preventive medicine and internal medicine over four years. So we're creating this next generation of physicians that can really respond better to the needs of the healthcare delivery system in the future. And also to lower healthcare costs. And to lower costs as well. Again, with the rise of chronic disease, um, the demand for services will overwhelm the healthcare delivery system and what society can afford. We're really focusing on prevention, helping people deal with those diseases once they have them to minimize the ill effects and keep the cost of care down. Very good. Patrick Chanel, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. And for more information, you can go to griffinhealth.org.